This really amazing creature in front of me is what's known as a sea mouse. I found one last week. You can see, there's the line of the sea. And there it is. This one's living and the one I found last week wasn't living. But if you have a look, it's an incredible creature and this is the size. That's my finger. It's really, really small. But can you see all along here, these amazing coloured bristles? They're kind of like furry bristles and they're basically designed that way because these creatures are found quite deep underwater. They can go to about um, 3,000 metres underwater. And so this, in the deep darkness of the underwaterness, is basically used to deter predators. You can see all the sand along the top there. And these are actually kind of worms and they have these little spikes if you see along the end there incredible creatures and uh it must be a time for them to be found because in, in my whole life i've only ever found two and you can see this one moving absolutely incredible this is what's known as photon engineering which in our scientific world we're trying to develop um it's it's incredible because this this reflects here it's a beautiful way a natural way it's like a kaleidoscope of light I'm quite amazed to have found one that's actually living and it may look like absolutely nothing to look at this creature but here we are, here's the perspective of my finger in the sea a sea mouse, they get washed up by storms quite a lot and we've had quite a lot of storms lately this is nature showing you how it develops for survival for a creature that lives in the deep dark underworld if you can see the incredible colours of these sort of spiny fur around the outside Absolutely amazing to a family that's living. Incredible. 